guys what's going on it's with it um decided to do my first straight razor shave and record this all on camera hopefully uh hopefully i live to tell the story and to post the video but um yeah i just got my razor from uh billy t it's a gold dollar titan i hope you guys can see that and um he actually sent me one yesterday and the blade was cracked and it was it was i got so mad because i know it was a post office i looked at the case it came in it came in a nice steel case this and there was a big dent it looked like someone ran it over or stepped on it or something like that but you know i uh messaged billy t sent him pictures and without even giving it a second thought he goes, I'm going, I'm setting you out another one right now. And I, I just couldn't believe that. I just think that was just a really stand-up thing to do. And I know it wasn't his fault. It was a stupid post office. And, and But just to know that there's someone out there like that, like Billy T, that would do that that quickly, I, I don't know, it was pretty awesome. So he literally sent me out one yesterday, and I got it today. So I was like, all right, let me record this. So... Along with that, I also got another shipment today, and I'm going to be using the Wickham's Soap Company uh, Super Smooth Club Cola. Now, guys, I'm telling you, when you open this thing up and close your eyes and smell it, it literally smells like Canada Dry or like a ginger ale. You know, like when you... When you get a fresh cup and you're about to sip it and the fizz hits your nose and you get the smell of it, it smells just like that. And this stuff, it, smell-wise right now, it is terrific. I like it out of a 10. For me, this is like a 9.8. Oh, God, it smells amazing. All right. And then for my brush, I already whipped up a lather. So I can save a little time because I think this video is going to be a little longer. But uh, I'm using a Whip Dog 22 millimeter and a silver tip, I believe it is. I got this from one of the guys in the groups, uh, Michael. So I'm going to take this one for a spin. Oh, God, the soap smells. I mean, if you really close your eyes and smell it, you even get like a little bit of carbonate. I Carbonation, I guess. I, you know, it, it to me, that's my, uh, it's my pickup on it. But I ordered this because I watched Chris Bailey's uh, video on his uh, top t uh, top five or top ten shaving soaps of 2015. And this one, it just looks. I was so curious about it. I was like, all right, I gotta get this. All right. So the lather's nice and set. I'm definitely nervous, guys. I'm not going to lie about this straight razor thing. But uh, the person's videos I've been watching the most of is obviously Anthony Esposito, the stallion. And by the way, happy belated birthday. Um, and what I got from him in messaging him and stuff like that is he said, just take your time. You're not going to be an expert overnight. And, and I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to take my time, you know, do what I could do. And if I feel like, you, you know, maybe... I really need to take it really slow, then I'm going to put it down and grab a safety razor. So I'm, I'm prepared for that. So I'm not expecting the best shave, but I'm, I'm going to try my best to do it. I have my towel set up here, like Lynn Abram says. Okay, boom, boom. All right, so I'm just going to rinse my face and I'm starting to start lathering up. This lather's great. I don't know if you guys can see the peaks, and it's just really dense. You can feel it in the brush. But uh, let's see how it performs. I mean, just literally going like this, Jesus, the cushion. So I hope everyone's having a good week. Over here in Connecticut in the Northeast, they're saying we gotta prepare for another storm. 
and it's going to be three days of snow. It's going to be tomorrow, or no, it's going to start on us Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's going to be three days. So, really looking forward to that. I'm just going to add a touch more water. Oh, this smell is incredible. Guys, I really... I forget the price on it. I don't think it was... I don't think it was that expensive. But, I mean, it... This stuff is worth it. If you guys like the smell of Canada Dry, I guess. I would definitely get it. And I'm glad I listened to Chris on that one. All right. I'm happy with this lather. There's, a, I mean, it's definitely looks like there's a lot of cushion. All right, <clears throat> I can't stop smelling it. All right, I'm gonna be paying attention now, so forgive me if I don't talk too much. Okay. So when you do use a straight razor, I noticed on the videos, you want to keep the side that you're doing on your left hand. And I'm gonna pull taut. I'm gonna keep the blade vertical. And just take smooth strokes. Yeah, the soap is definitely nice stuff. The like first impressions definitely has the slickness. It has the slickness and definitely a cushion without a doubt. Let me fix that angle. I definitely got to keep an eye on the angle because it all it is all about blade reduction not getting the closest shade right now so let me see if I can let me see if this feels better to do it like this Definitely is a little bit of a, not a little bit, definitely a learning curve. But like I, like Anthony said, just take your time with it because it'll pay off in the end. The soap is a little dry, but that's my fault. So I'm, I'll worry about it when I get back to over there. It's not even that dry. It's, it, you know what it is? It's me putting my my shoulder against uh, the ladder. But let me add a let me add a little water. Just give me one sec, guys. Right, seems to be a little better. Not a little better, it's it's definitely a lot better, but you know, when you get a new soap, you need to experiment, and that's what I get. I just jumped right into it because I was so excited to use it, and I'm hitting my hand on the door.
it's definitely weird using my left hand. I'm not used to it, but I'm up for a challenge and trying something new. I know it really is you got to get used to your own way and stuff but I thought I'd go myself but it's not See, I definitely like it better with my right hand. And guys, I know my technique isn't good, so I mean, leave comments, please, in the videos, in the in the video that I'm gonna post. Definitely got some of my beer here, but leave some comments because I could use all the advice. I know this is probably painful for you veteran uh, straight uh, shavers, straight razor shavers, but uh, I don't know. It's definitely nerve wracking. But I had to record it. I was just like, you know what? <sighs> Stuff smells great. You only live once, so why not? Okay. And uh, for you guys that aren't in the groups or... Uh, and that are subscribed to my channel. I'm doing a giveaway. Once I hit 100, follow, uh, 100 subscribers, I'm gonna use a website. It's like random.org or something like that. And I'm gonna take, you know, put a number one through 100 and then count off whichever order it is on YouTube. And that's gonna be the winner. And they're gonna win a, a Parker Chevette. And the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD aftershave. And I really did that because, uh, I mean, because of uh, Billy T, because how nice he was yesterday to me. And I was just like, you know what? It rubbed off, so. All right. Let's get ready for the second pass. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna hold this. This definitely does not look like any of the videos that you guys do. <laughs> Something I just keep needing to practice.
you know what it is? I think once I get the jitters out, maybe the second or third shave or something like that. And what's helping me really is not thinking I have to use the, the whole blade, only using a part of it. And right now I'm just concentrating on using the tip. I definitely feel like it's, I'm getting a close shave, I guess. I mean, Definitely think I got myself a now. See if the you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I definitely. I thought I got myself, but I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the blade vertical. See how the hell that works though. I mean, I'm, ha I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Did you hear that? Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm definitely happy with it, though. I, I know it's going to take a while, and my technique is horrible. It just does not look like any of the videos you guys do. But, um, you know what? I'm going to pull the plug, and I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to take it slow, like Anthony said. So, you know what? That, uh, that I'm done for today with the straight razor. So... I'm just going to keep practicing, and that's it. So I'm going to rinse off. I don't know if you guys are able to tell, but I have sweat beating down because I'm that nervous. But, uh, let's check it out. I mean, it feels good. I, I don't. I definitely didn't get myself. Yeah, I mean, I can see why everyone likes it, likes straight razors. I just got to keep practicing, and keep doing it. So it is what it is. But uh, either way, I'm gonna use. <clears throat> what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use Parasso. I'm gonna use Parasso Bomb. And then for an aftershave, I'm gonna try a new one. You know what? I'm gonna go with. Crown Shaving Company, Master Shave. Hmm. I don't know what it smells like. It smells good, but it's dark, spicy. It smells like maybe a little bit like an anisette or like a licorice, a little bit, but I like it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that burn. 
Mm. Wow. All right, it's good. I don't. I don't know if it's. I. I it's definitely because of the straight razor. I got that burn, but it's all right. So guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. I mean, I already went way over. I'm gonna try to trim as much as I really can. And uh, guys, this stuff, this soap, I know if you guys watch the video, you're gonna see it uh, dissipating and stuff like that. That was my fault. I, I really gotta hone in and learn how to um, lather it, how much water. But this stuff is great. Uh, I'm gonna agree with Chris Bailey. This is definitely a top soap right now for me, even though I just got it. And that smell, like I said, it smells just like ginger ale, in my opinion. So, uh, guys, sorry to let some of you guys down with the horrible technique in the time with the straight razor shave. But, I don't know. I had to record it. So, either way, guys, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.